Understanding, bingo night, a fun English phrase explained. Hello, everyone, welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to explore a fun and interesting phrase, bingo night. Whether you're a beginner or advanced learner, understanding such phrases can add flavor to your English skills. So, let's dive in and find out what bingo night is all about. Bingo night refers to an event where people gather to play bingo, a popular game involving numbered cards and a random draw of numbers. It's often associated with social gatherings, community centers, or even fundraisers. The phrase evokes a sense of community, fun, and excitement. The important thing to remember is that bingo night isn't just about the game, it's about the experience and social interaction. In many English-speaking countries, bingo night is more than just a game night. It's a cultural phenomenon that brings people together. It can be a family-friendly event or a fun outing for adults. These nights often include food, conversation, and laughter, making them a cherished tradition in communities. Understanding this phrase helps in appreciating a part of English-speaking cultures, especially in places like the United Kingdom and the United States. When using the phrase, bingo night, in conversations, it's often in the context of social plans or community events. For example, are you coming to the bingo night at the community center? I had so much fun at last week's bingo night. Notice how the phrase easily fits into discussions about leisure activities or community events. There are similar phrases that you might hear, like game night or trivia night. These phrases also indicate a social event centered around a specific game or activity. Understanding these variations will enrich your conversational skills in English. I hope this video has been helpful in understanding the phrase, bingo night, and its place in English-speaking cultures. Remember, learning a language is not just about words and grammar, but also about the culture and experiences behind the phrases. Keep practicing, and don't forget to have fun with the language. Until next time, happy learning!